Hey, it's the fish guy. Today I'm with Nick Kishvi. One of our clients has been with us for a while now, and I'm here to talk a little bit about your aquarium experience and what it's like to have this in your home. I think before we get into this tank, how'd you get started in fish? Well, I've had fish since I was a little kid. I think I started with, you know, the, the beta and the fish bowl with, you know, no, no filter, just changing the water every day. And I graduated to a little five or 10 gallon tank with a tiny hang on the back filter. And, you know, as I got older, I mostly, you know, I would save my allowance and, and things for, for two things, video games and fish supplies. <laughs> I like it. And so eventually I would, uh, you know, upgrade it to have a 35 gallon tank in my bedroom for almost all my childhood with um, African cichlids in it. And then when I moved out of the house, I upgraded to a 55 gallon tank still with the cichlids and had that, had that for many years before we did the final upgrade uh, to the 220 saltwater tank that we have here. So I've always loved keeping fish. That's awesome. That's how most people get started, right? It's a passion typically as a kid and then you never, you never grow out of it. Yep. Um, so you moved into this house that we're in maybe a year ago yep. or so. Um, and when you moved in, I think you did floors immediately and then fish tank right away. Is that correct? That's true. Yeah, that, was, that was right. <laughs> the floors had to be first only because it was too difficult to move all the furniture and then take it back out. So really, if you think about it, the fish tank was the priority. Uh, the okay. floors were just done first for logistical reasons. So why was the fish tank so important as, you, I mean, in the last year you've done a lot of things. A new deck, who are remodeling the kitchen right now, but the fish tank was first to, and why was that? Well, it was because we were in our old house for a long time, I think about 12 years or so. And for probably the last five years of it, I was like, I really want to upgrade the fish tank. But in the back of my mind, I'm like, I know we're going to move pretty soon. And it's a lot of work to break down a tank. I've already moved tanks. And you just don't want to do that if you don't have to. So it was one of those things where it's like, as soon as I move, I'm going to get this fish tank because I've been denying myself <laughs> the, the tank that I really want until we find the, the new place to live. And it took us a while to find this place. So really, like, I just felt like, all right, finally, this is happening right away. I'm going to go for it. I didn't want to wait any longer. So that's why it was like the first thing. That's awesome. Now, when you moved into this house and that was your priority, how did your wife Kate feel about that? Was, was she on board or did you have to sell it a little bit? I didn't have to sell it too much. She, uh, she likes the fish as well. And to her, it's all the upside because I've always done all the maintenance of the fish. So she just gets to be, you know, uh, a viewer of the fish and not have to worry about making sure they're happy and healthy. So there's really no downside to her. Um, and uh, she especially, though, liked the switch to salt water. You know, the cichlids, they have a bit less personality. They're also pretty aggressive. They can be mean to each other, which, you know, isn't as fun um, as, you know, a, a tank like this, where you know, they, these fish have unique personalities. They're clearly differentiated from each other. She's named them, so she really likes them. Yeah. So speaking of naming them, the yeah. I know the tank was kind of your project, but it sounds like your wife's gotten pretty involved in, and has a... a Bunch of rock stars behind me? That's right, yeah. So she decided uh, to create a theme of naming the fish after iconic rock stars. So every fish in the tank is named after a rock star that in some way ties into the fish, whether it's because of the origin of the fish or the coloring of the fish or the personality of the fish. So yeah, we've got a whole, um, you know, like the old Rolling Stone top, you know, 40 in here. So That's great. Is there a Nick Kishvi in there? There's not. There's no. <laughs> No, there's only true rock stars. Oh, come on. I think you're a rock star in your own way. Um, you, uh, you have an incredible company here in Providence, Rhode Island, uh, which I'm looking forward to at some point talking with you there as well and, uh, and talk about the aquarium you have uh, that supports your culture there too. Um, so last question, uh, something fishy really believes in simplicity and aquarium ownership. And what that means is really making it as simple as possible. So there's no headaches for our clients to own an aquarium in their home. Uh, how do you feel we're living up to that? Oh yeah, I mean, it's, in some ways, I probably uh, make it less simple on purpose because I want to be involved. I, feel like <laughs> I wouldn't have to be involved, but I really like you know, all the techs that come and work on the tank are, are really great. I have a relationship with all of them, and so you know, I'll, I'll always ask them questions about why they're doing something, or if there's something I can do in between services to make their jobs easier or make the tank just that much better. So I think um, for someone that. You know, I, I grew up caring for fish and I enjoy it, but I think even if you didn't and you've always just like loved the idea of having an aquarium but don't have any experience, if you, if, you know, if, if you hire something fishy, that's not going to be a problem. You're not going to have to do anything but enjoy it. So I think that's great. That's awesome. Great. Well, listen, Nick, I really appreciate you and, and Kate being clients of ours. Uh, 
we're, uh, we're really excited to have you guys and have built a relationship. Uh, also, a quick shout out for uh, great, the great support you and Kate provided for our yeah. community fundraiser, Dancing with the Stars, to help mentor well, Rhode Island. Good on you for having the clerks get out there and do it. <laughs> I was uh, I'm very impressed. I, I can't believe I did it, but uh, really appreciate your, the support that you provide. And Kate is on the board of Mentor Rhode Island, which I think is also a great community great endeavor. Course. And um, I just I, I love the fact that we've come together in a, in a few different ways. So. Um, thanks so much for everything, all your support. Really appreciate the business. Thank you. Thank you.